I um, I'd just like to talk to you uh, about this upcoming election. Uh, I believe that if uh, Labor gets in, uh, they're going to destroy this country. Um, some of the things that they're proposing now are an extra 500 million to the United Nations, a despotic organisation that has nothing to do with Australia and shouldn't have any influence over our politicians. Uh, Labor's also going to talk about doubling the refugee intake. Now this is going to cost us uh, billions of dollars in extra welfare. Uh, it's already costing us billions now, but it's going to double the, uh, or it's going to put a, an extra burden on the taxpayer there. Uh, they're also going to attack our retirees with franken credits and um, you know, getting rid of the negative gearing. Uh, these people have worked hard to uh, put something aside so they can have a decent retirement and uh, now Labor is going to attack that. They also there's, uh, uh, are going to probably bring in the death and succession duty so that uh, anything that you've earned in your life you can't pass on to your children. Uh, Labor's also talking about, well, they're going to close down coal mines. Now, this is going to cost thousands of jobs in Australia. Uh, they're not, not easy jobs. They're working in, in pretty harsh conditions out in the, in the bush. And, um, you know, they earn every penny that they, uh, they, they deserve, every penny they have. Uh, if they close those coal mines down, what are these people going to do? Uh, they're not going to have any jobs. They may be on the welfare queue as well. Uh, the other thing they're going to do, uh, they're proposing, is an increase from 26% renewables to 50% renewables. Um, we already have the, the highest or second highest power prices in the world. This will make um, probably double those power prices or very close to it. Uh, a lot of industries now, like smelters, have closed down parts of their, their operation because they can't afford power, putting people out of a job. Uh, this will effectively close down all our heavy industry, so there'll be thousands more out of a job. Uh, there are a lot of other things that they're proposing. Electric cars, for instance, to get rid of your four-wheel drives, you know, and we'll all be driving little electric cars that take us all night to recharge. So, look, I, I strongly recommend that uh, we don't vote for uh, Labor. I, I, I recommend that uh, people vote for good, solid, conservative parties. Uh, minor parties uh, look like the only way to go so that we can hold this, uh, these governments, whichever one decides, you know, whichever one gets in, we can hold them to account and we can stop this nonsense.